All new at six, family of this couple, not surprised. Police are looking for them after a violent Port St. Lucie murder. Only on five, News Channel 5's Brian Nenton spoke to the family and is live in Port St. Lucie tonight. Brian? Yeah, Kelly, the family telling me they believe that this couple is long gone on the run from the law right now. The police say they desperately need to talk to them about the murder of the woman that they lived with right here inside this house. Police finding her bludgeoned to death. As investigators searched for evidence at the murder scene, Robert Galazzi says U.S. Marshals showed up at his front door this morning. I think they think they're going to get away with it. Galazzi is talking about his stepdaughter, Georgia Scordamaglia, and her boyfriend, David Weingard. Port St. Lucie police are calling them persons of interest in the murder of Alyssa Kerman, found bludgeoned to death with blunt force trauma to the head. Do you think she's capable of murder? I would, I would like to think not, okay, because uh, I, I didn't raise her like that. You know, we didn't raise her to be like that. You know, so I, don't, I would, it's hard to say. Shane Scordamaglia is Georgia's ex-husband and has a daughter with her. Does she seem capable of this? Uh, unfortunately, yes. Why do pretty you violent, she's a pretty violent person when she gets angry. Police say the couple lived with the victim and at one point worked for her bounce house business. They say the duo have been locked up in Martin County before for burglary and Weingard has a past ag assault charge in Dade County. They let him go and... Now this has come up. Police say the couple may have taken off with the victim's guns in a red 2003 Chevy Silverado. In a red truck, you know what I mean? That's like sticking out like a sore thumb, you know what I mean? So I would hide, I would go west into, into the Everglades, something like that. I don't know if she would run or just try to hide somewhere here. Again, take a good look at these persons of interest. They are supposed to be in that Chevy truck. If you see them, you're asked to call police right away. They are considered armed and dangerous. The sad thing here is the neighbors telling us that this victim was a wonderful woman, that she was known to take in people who had problems, and they believe that's why she had this couple living with her. Live in Port St. Lucie, Brian Enton, WPTV News Channel 5.